Hello and welcome back. It's day 85 of this Growing Lemon Trees from Seed Series. This goes all the way to day 127. So on day 85, the fifth leaf is coming along nicely. The pot, as I mentioned before, is shared with a pineapple top and a cactus fruit. I'm trying to generate some new series to provide more content for my YouTube channel. And I'm sprinkling on a fine layer of California wild dirt. It pretty much looks all the same around here in the hills. It's got this reddish tint to it most of the time. So it's uh, reddish brown. It's very fine, silty. If you disturb it, it gets over everything. And it has these little chunks that are congealed. They seem like pebbles at first touch, but they're not. If you give them a slight pinch, then they fall apart into powder. So that's the nature of this soil. It should be very rich and provide everything with microbes. Once I give it a few waterings with distilled water, I don't use fresh out of the tap tap water for the first waterings at least because I don't want the chlorine or chloramine inside to kill all the microbes. It could be beneficial. But then again all these hill microbes in Southern California might not necessarily be the exact microbes that something like a lemon tree which is not native would need. So we'll see what happens. I've got a pineapple top and a cactus fruit going in this pot. Um, they're taking up lots of space as well, but this lemon seedling is growing very slowly, much slower than I expected, which explains why some of the lemon trees that I've seen in people's front yards are tiny in these neighborhoods. Maybe it's just not the right soil. Maybe it just grows very slowly. In either case, I've used potting mix for most of this growing series, and now I'm trying my hand at adding some California wild dirt so so long to the sterilization um, it was good when it lasted but all of my plants have been off to a very slow start in 2017 and I think that might be a good reason why so I should expect a lot more growth from this point out otherwise that proves that theory false and there must be some other reason why my plants aren't doing that well I have provided more than enough nitrogen from my fertilizer in the earlier months of the year 2017 so what this silty soil is like is it's very hard to water through once it forms a congealed seal plates of it on the surface prevent water entry so if you water it takes a very long time for it to sift through so you might be underwatering so this is at day 96 I'm wondering if there's any growth acceleration due to adding this real soil um, as you can see, after a few waterings, it's kind of hard to tell that it was there, especially on the perimeter, but there's definitely a different consistency to the surface, a different uh, visual texture, so to speak. So this leaf is coming along nicely. It's a good-looking plant. I just wish it were a lot bigger. I had to cut the second half, uh, well, the tip of that adjoining pineapple leaf because it was encroaching on one of the leaves here or two. It was uh, blocking the sunlight that it needs. This plant takes up very little space and I didn't want it to be inhibited by a towering pineapple plant right next to it. So far uh, no symptoms of leaf miners or whatever these uh, little blisters are caused by has uh, reared its ugly head. However, one of the leaves at the bottom, the very first true leaf, seems like it's uh, slightly worn out. I wouldn't go on a limb and say it's diseased, but it looks like it's on its way to being phased out, which is a little bit worrisome for a plant that's so small and takes so long to grow. So I'm not quite sure if those were cotyledons. I think they're just true leaves. So these have these blistered appearance on the edges and even the top leaf looks like it might have a little tiny bit of yellowing at the edges. Uh, so if you know what the deal is with this plant, um, as usual people throw out all kinds of suggestions and I'm always open to listening to advice, but there's a lot of conflicting advice as well at any given time. So I've tried a lot of different things with my plants in 2017 and the vitamins and fertilizer and crystal form just weren't really doing it for this plant so now I'm trying some wild dirt 
I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna get two more Ziploc bags uh, full of wild dirt so that might be an additional 20 pounds and then I'll have the top layer thoroughly covered and caked for all of my plants and I hope that will be a great boon to the growth but it's also getting colder we're approaching um, you know late October November so pretty soon it's gonna get cold again the days are gonna get shorter and shorter and to be honest this balcony only receives maybe two hours of direct afternoon angled sun at best I really wish I had a open space so my plants could receive the normal uh, over 12 hours of sunlight a day you know 14 16 would be great in the summer so it's day 109 the let's see the fifth leaf is the big one pointing off to a 45 angle 45 degree angle to the top looks a little lopsided and top heavy like this but it's so small that that's not really a factor there's a sixth leaf on the way so everything looks relatively healthy there's no marked deterioration anywhere maybe in that first true leaf which as I said earlier is on its way to being phased out but otherwise than that I'm getting progress and that's what counts um, other people have remarked before on my earlier episodes that their lemon tree seedlings are growing much faster. So either they had the perfect seasonality and soil and water conditions or something else is going on here. Uh, I really expected a fruit tree to get off to a much faster start. At least the mango seedling, despite having that initial growth spurt and doing nothing for several months, it attained that size at least. Granted, the mango seed is much, much bigger than a lemon seed, so it has a much better running start hitting the ground. But otherwise than that, you can see all these little green specks in the background that aren't in focus. Those are little weeds that come from nature um, in the soil and the surrounding hills, so I have no idea what they are. I've also seen many blades of grass and little chunks of moss here and there so I have no doubt that it's a more natural ecosystem if you want to call it that in these pots now and these plants should benefit in theory and everyone has a penchant for organic this and that anyway so uh, I think a lot more people will be pleased so it's day 127 I got back from a long vacation and I'm not too impressed by what I see uh, the first true leaf fell off as soon as I watered it. I was worried after being gone for 12 or 13 days that my plants would be very thirsty. But luckily it's been cold and not all that hot. And the layer of dirt on top, once it congeals and dries out, it pretty much holds the moisture of the potting mix underneath trapped in there. So there's that. And you can see there's a fair number of spots on some of these leaves. I don't know if that's a third leaf. It's got some spots. Uh, well, no, maybe those are leaves two, three, and four have some spots. So maybe it has some disease. Like I said, I always suspected that these blisters that were also present in the edges of my very tiny navel orange seedling of 2016 a discontinued series after episode 2 maybe that's due to some inherited viral disease uh, some kind of citrus disease so that's really the only explanation I have left in my bag of theories and explanations for the woeful underperformance of this lemon seedling granted it's getting colder and that won't help but uh, citrus disease is as good of an explanation as any. I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. I haven't fertilized chemically for quite a while for all my plants. I want to see if having this uh, natural soil from the outside will provide as robust of a growth as what I was doing before. So that pretty much sums things up. If you see that uh, giant crater that, well, it's not giant, it's a sinkhole in the pot where the cactus fruit was, that's where the fruit flesh rotted away. Hopefully I'll get some germination there and some 
prickly pear cacti at some point. So yeah, we'll let this thing run and see where it goes. Uh, thanks for watching and please stay tuned to my YouTube channel.